What it is, y'all, it is your old boy Pilk, and I'm coming back today with more Kota Suba. Now, if you guys are enjoying this content, make sure you hit that old subscribe button, helps the channel out, and hit the old thumbs up if you are enjoying each and every video. If you're not, there's the other option as well. Let's get into it, because there's quite a bit to talk about today. Now, I'm sure first things first, everybody wants to talk about the new banners. And I think it's no mystery that there is a unit on this banner that is actually really, really, really good. But let's talk about everybody here on equal footing, okay? So we have the new Darkness, and I, it's no secret that I'm not a big fan of Darkness units in this game. Um, I just, I, you never get what you want out of a Darkness unit. Sorry, she just, she just doesn't produce. I mean, she's good defensively, but that's kind of about it. Now, that said, she's really good for the current EX missions. So we get more of those EX missions, Darkness units would be great for that. But they're very conditional in that regard. Let's talk about this here, okay? Moderate boost, this is for her, her third skill, Moderate boost to magic defense for all allies. That's actually really good, because defensive boosts, like I said, in that current EX mission that uses defense, that'll be awesome. And moderate recovery for herself. Remember, she's a tank. That's her literally her whole job. The biggest problem with the, shirt, with the darkness, she doesn't produce damage. Her rate, like her success rate, is like abysmal. Now, skill two, significant boost to magic attack and agility for uh, 12 seconds. So in other words, any magic attack or, ag or, or basically any of your speeds and all that kind of stuff will be drastically increased basically by the uh, by skill two. So that's really, really, really nice. Now it says for 12 seconds, it has an 18 second cooldown. Could be better, could be worse. Definitely not the end of the world though. Finally, skill three, 102% normal physical damage to one enemy with extremely low accuracy. Remember, she doesn't hit. This is where you start getting to, into that realm of like, she never hits and when she does, she hits pretty well, but I mean, it's not even worthwhile running her as an attacker. You really use her for her skill two, her skill three, and even her SA, that's kind of about it. Now, I will say this. As a sub, she reduces magic attack damage by 8%. So, if you put her on any unit, as you're going into, like, you know, an arena or anything like that where magic attacks are being used against you, as a sub, she will reduce that incoming damage by 8%. And that is phenomenal. That's really good. I like that. But is it worth summoning for her? I don't really think so. I, my, my blanket answer is always, for darkness units, it is not worthwhile because of that skill 3. Most of the time she's on the field, she's doing literally nothing. Now... If you bring her in late game, and she's just there for that defensive boost, great. But the vast majority of players are literally never going to see any utility out of this unit. I say the vast majority. I'm sure there's some people in the comment section, but I really like this for the blah, blah, blah. Great. That's awesome. The vast majority of people will not get any value from Wiz whatsoever. Or, I'm sorry, from Wiz. We'll get to her. From uh, Darkness whatsoever. Let's move on to Wiz, since I did mention her. I adore this unit. Now, there's no, it's no mystery. Fire is my favorite team on this uh, in, in this game currently. Uh, the fire team is phenomenal, and she has a significant boost to both fire and water. So let's talk about her skills, because I think Wiz is like the one uh, significant situation where it is completely worth summoning for. But remember, rates are pretty tragic. Though, if you get her, you're going to love her. So... Character details, 190, and I love this new mechanic they, they just threw in here. I don't think we've seen another unit with this. I could be wrong, but I think this is fairly new. 199% uh, fire damage to one enemy, 273 when HP is 70% or above. So if you've got a healer on your team, if you can basically keep Wiz at top health, you're going to get even more damage out of this unit. And you'll see this out of both her and the next unit we're going to see here in a moment. So I love that. I adore that. That is a 19 second cooldown. That's a fairly low cooldown for a third skill. In fact, her second skill has a higher cooldown, which is rare. Usually the second skill is a little bit a uh, little bit shorter cooldown. Skill two is a uh, um, 120% fire magic damage to all enemies. It's an AOE and moderate boost to SA gauge for all allies. Everybody gets an SA gauge boost. That's nuts. I like that. Wiz is so damn good. Let's get back in. Speaking of which, there she is. Uh, skill 3. 
100, 105% fire damage to one enemy and minor recovery for herself. I love the fact she gives herself recovery on top of everything else she does. This unit is so good. So good. So good. Um, fire and water boost. That's a 6% attack when using fire or water attacks. Remember, this only really like does anything when she's a sub. Phenomenal sub. Phenomenal sub, phenomenal attacker, phenomenal support. Just top tier. Absolutely great unit. Love this unit so much. Iris. This is uh, the new Iris unit. And I don't remember what she does, but I do know she uses that new mechanic. So let's take a look here. 135% fire physical damage to all enemies. Remember, Wiz, with her uh, skill 3, was a single target. It's to one enemy, but you know the numbers on that are always higher. Numbers for AoEs are going to be a little bit lower, but notice she goes to... I keep hitting that button. It's got a hair trigger, I'm telling y'all. Uh, goes to up to 177% when HP is at or above 70%. Like I said, I don't think I've seen this on a unit before. I could be wrong, but uh, I love that mechanic. That's phenomenal. Just It really rewards you for keeping your units at top health. Skill 2, and that has a 19 second cooldown. Skill 2 also has a 19 second cooldown. 149% fire physical damage to all enemies. She does more damage most of the time. You know, unless she, once again, unless she's at top health. Most of the time she's going to do more damage with her skill 2, and it has the same cooldown. Really do like that. Uh, this unit is pretty good. Uh, her base attack is a 126 normal physical attack damage to an enemy. She's a good unit. Okay. A uh, 5% attack boost when uh, using fire or light attacks. The only real downside to this unit is she's all AoE. She's raw AoE. So if you take her into an event that's single target, like most every event we have, has a single target final boss, she kind of starts to lose her luster at that point. Honestly and truly, Wiz is 100% the treat on this banner. If you can get Wiz before she goes, great. In fact, I'm not gonna do my summons today. I'm gonna do my one daily. We're gonna save the summons for another video, but I am gonna do my one daily here. Let's see if we get lucky. Oh, you see? Oh, it's not gonna be her. It totally can't be her. There's no way. game loves me oh I am the exception not the rule please do not do not expect that kind of we'll still we're... so Thursday for the stream we will still do some summons I was gonna do a whole summon video I got what I wanted that is bonkers <laughs> sorry my my luck in this game has been disgusting Disgusting. That means every other game we play, I'm, I'm going to be tragic at for the next six months. What? <laughs> it's even going on. Oh, jeez. I didn't even get to the simple fact that... Oh, I, I literally shed a tear on that one. I was not expecting that. I saw the four star. I really thought it was going to be like an older four star or something like that. That is just... So it pays to do your, if, if you're a whale, it pays to do your daily, guys. It really does. Uh, so when you do a summon, you, it looks like you get an extra bonus here. So as far as a gotcha goes, you can get a skill potion, you can get stamina beef, you can get skip tickets. Times 50, actually. So there is a significant benefit to doing some summons. We will do some summons Thursday night on stream. Uh, and I will chop those up and we will uh, upload those uh, as a video on Friday. So, if you want to be here for the stream, uh, it will probably be, normally we do 9 o'clock on Thursdays, so it'll probably be shortly after 10 because I'm going to go see Spider-Man. So, if you want to see the, the summons, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell. I will blast it out on Twitter and social media and all that stuff. Let's move on, because there's a bit more to talk about. Whew, still blown away by that. Phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. We have a new battle arena. We'll talk about this in a bit more detail. The main thing you need to know is that for this battle arena, it says beware of water physical attacks. Enemies are relatively weak to haze and bind. Now, you do need to build a fire team for this. 
Once again, Wiz is going to be great for this. On my fire team, I don't have any haze. I don't have any bind. There are certain things that you could do to make your team significantly more potent in battle. I have been a very, very, very bad example of how to run this because I auto run it every single time. I am going to work on my teams and we're going to come back to this in a couple of days and we're going to try to revisit this and try to get some really phenomenal numbers because uh, I've been working on getting better at this. I'm not quite ready to do it, but it is here. We have a new one and it is fire. You do want to take advantage. Now, finally, we have a brand new event. We have the party on the holy night. So uh, you get this free three-star Mia unit right here. Um, I forget what she does, but we can go take a look at that here in a moment. Uh, basically, fight the boss three times. It'll, out of the missions, you're going to get a free one of her. And then, of course, in your rewards, you'll be able to get the skill potions to, uh, to max them or break her. Absolutely worth. Now, let me also say this. It is totally worth farming out of these things. Caddy Relief, Crimson Dragon Jewels... All these things that are for the new uh, the new level upgrades, they're all here, and you should max them all out really soon. I thought it was going to come with this update. Apparently, it's going to come with an update uh, later on. We are going to be getting secondary super attacks. You'll have like a, basically a different super attack that you can uh, uh, select for most of your characters. That'll be really interesting. Plus, pretty soon, we're going to be getting dedicated equips. For some of the characters so make sure you're farming this to com I say completion but to get all the stuff for your upgrades and of course to get the uh, tornado scepter which uh, I'm, I'm not personally hurting for some of y'all might not be either but this is a great time to work on getting some of these things too so make sure you are taking advantage of this all new quest. We'll talk about this a little bit later on, uh, but this one sh you should be able to do the multi attacks and, and all that as well. We'll come back. We'll talk about this in a bit more detail later on. But know that these are all the new events that are currently live. Plus, plus that's not all. We have it just said double uh, double chest drops, so two times treasure chests on normal main quests. Normal main quests. Not the hard. I personally run all of the hard events every single day. Like all four levels of all ten chapters every single day. Plus all the other quests. That's My, my dailies take like an hour to do in this game, but it is totally worthwhile. Also, and that's the campaign. Uh, the community tabs here. There are other events currently going on. And there's a lot, a lot, a lot of rewards currently in the game. So, it says events temporarily unavailable. Uh-oh. Our events will be temporarily unavailable. We'll update you through this notice. Okay. Apparently, the, some of the events are currently unavailable. But there are new uh, mission rewards and things like that. Unfortunately, it looks like they're kind of currently indisposed. I apologize for that. But check back on those. Uh, they will be back up here shortly. Let's see if there's any more information here on... Uh, doesn't look like there is. Crazy Gator Fire Lightning. What is this? They were here to announce the... Let's see. This is... Does it say what date this is? The limited quests are available for free quests starting Tuesday, 12-14. That is today until one Monday. So the Crazy Fire Alligator, Crazy Lightning Island, number of challenges per day, three times per day. It looks like this is one of those that is... That is actually going to be in here under the free quests. Yes. So you want to take advantage of this as well. We'll come back and talk about that in its own video probably tomorrow. Lots of stuff, guys. So pay attention. And those new missions are... I saw them earlier. Apparently, they're unavailable right now. They should be back here probably within a matter of hours. But make sure you check all of these things. You need to check all these things. We get... Anytime a major event ends... Within 24 hours, we're going to get a whole load of new stuff. So, good luck on your summons. If you're planning to do summons, let me know in the comments section what units you got. If you're excited for the new arena, uh, arenas, new events, and all that stuff, let me know in the comments section down below as well. Like, comment, share all the good stuff, and I will catch you guys on the next one.